Whenever you're in the middle of the match and you know everything's happening at 100 miles an hour, you know your heart is pounding. The tackles are flying, and you know you feel like you're out of breath, but you can keep going. There's nothing better. Hopefully, we'll feel that today. Whenever I first came on to the Antrim Senior Team 12 or 13 years ago, Carl was there and we've been travelling together for club and county for a long, long time. I'm in the coaching role now, like, so it's good to get his point of view. He knows how the game's changing out there, like, so we chat about these things in the car, you know, when we're travelling. Me and Carl played the majority of our hurling for Antrim at Casement Park and like, the stadium was old and decrepit and cold. It was very unwelcoming. You know, people did not like coming to Casement Park and I suppose it was in the middle of West Belfast as well and all the connotations around the Troubles were there and you know people probably feared that area a little bit and that would have been worth a couple of points to you any day of the week you know. I like to get to the ground early you know maybe get out onto the field just get the, the grass under your feet strike the ball about get familiar with the place. If Neil's on form there's nobody got to stop him like or even in the morning I can tell if he's in good form as well I know he's going to have a good game. And he's good in the air, so one of the reasons he's out there in the wing is hopefully catch a lot of puck outs. He's big, he's physical, and they'll be wanting him to kind of dominate in that area. If we've turned them over, took the ball off them, and then got a score ourselves, you know, that's huge. That's a massive, massive boost for any team. There's a great adrenaline buzz, you know, that, that you get at that stage of a game. and It's great to score, but it's back out, next ball, next ball, get into position. If you find yourself not in the game for a period of time, you just have to keep working and work really, really hard. You might get a hook in, you might get a block in, and next thing the ball pops to you. At half time, I suppose I've been moved from forwards into centre back. Absolutely determined to quell that threat of theirs in the half forward line, just so you will not be catching any more pock outs at all. I can hear Carl roaring on all the time. Head up, everyone! Head up! No better man to be getting some instruction from. You know, the Alliance Leagues are probably the mainstay for Antrim now, where we get to pit ourselves against the top teams in the country, and it's very important for Antrim that we get back into that top tier of hurling.